I'm Scott Spencer. I'm the president of Premier Soccer Services. It's very important to find locations that we can host international teams, which Decatur has some of the best in, in the nation. The standard of the fields is one of the most important things. Come to Decatur uh, is field of dreams. And the amazing thing is it's not just one field, it's every field. And that's vital to developing long-term relationships. Welcome. My name is Leonard Morris. I'm the Sports Marketing Director for the Decatur Morgan County Convention and Visitors Bureau. There's no better place to host your event than Decatur, Alabama. I'm just here to make sure that you don't miss out on hitting the target. Decatur Community Archery Park is one component of a community archery strategy and it's a life skill that anybody can use. It can be competitive or it can be just an individual out here just enjoying the outdoors and shooting dots. Oh, I think this facility is fantastic. I've been to a couple of other archery range and I don't know what it is. I think it's the trees and just surroundings, but this one's great. Down on right there. Put on just like a life vest. What we're doing, we're hooking this up for the kids. They're gonna be shooting over the rail and we wanna make sure that safety's first. Round of applause, you guys have made it to the national championship. Five pounds and nine ounces. But you guys are ready for it. 20,000 anglers would love to be in your spot. We know how important fishing is to the state of Alabama. And the most wonderful fishing in the world is just right outside your doors here. Now, fishing is not just about sitting in a boat, throwing a line in the water. Oh, look at that big brown bass for Eddie Levin. When we bring our tournaments in to a location, bring a lot of people in, you know, they stay in motels, is that they eat here, you know, they spend a lot of money. And we know that this area here, up and down the river, and especially here in Decatur, is sort of the center of all that. Franco delivers. Just, uh, just get used to the greens. I mean, the greens are faster than greens I'm used to, but they, they're rolling really well. I think it's pretty good, I think. I mean, there's a couple of good players in it. Uh, yeah, glad to be here. For a small race, it's like the biggest, best race in Alabama. The organization's great. They maxed out the enrollment this year. I think it was at 600. Top notch. Nice, everyone rode really well. It was a good, clean race out there. And there was some heat out there in the front. It was just a great day. Um, swim was good, bike was really fast. And the run, the volunteers out there just made it all a great day. She's from Spain. I'm She's been to me. <laughs> to dot the dragon's eye. Our first annual dragon boat races and we just couldn't have imagined uh, how it's gonna turn out. Uh, 50 plus teams and all the people that are here. BP! Hey, it's gonna go to the grand champions. It's gonna go to West Morgan.
2007, the last time the key was grabbed, it was with this balloon. group of balloonists that come to this event every year. It's a great tournament every year and we're proud to be part of it and it's first class all the way. If you're struggling, you just gotta let me know. What makes you think these are just soccer fields? No way! We're not gonna miss a target, neither should you! So be ready, lacrosse is coming your way soon. Ah.